somebody said to me the other day, if you get paid to do a hobby, it's the best thing in the world. For me, I'm getting paid to do a passion, and I love that. MediClinic has always been involved in CSI. From about 2007 onwards, we got involved with the national government around the PHEF, the Public Health Announcement Fund, where we contributed to training of doctors and so forth. But over the last 24 months, we've now moved into a different paradigm in terms of saying, let's see how we can assist the provincial governments address their backlogs. The patient's first philosophy is of fundamental importance to MediClinic. We adopted this way of thinking when we realized that in healthcare, patients are often at the so-called center of everything we do, but everybody should focus on putting patients first, including our supporting doctors. And that's why we repositioned the patient to the most important person in this whole healthcare context. When we started, it was the partnership with the Western Cape government. We've had other partnerships, but they never gained traction, purely because I think there was a trust element around whether it was actually going to be for free or whether there was going to be a cost element attached to it. Once the provincial governments realized that this was actually completely free of charge and it could help address the backlogs, the momentum uh, you know, picked up. There's an opportunity for the private sector to assist government with the management of public sector facilities, something that we've been keen to do for many years. The best way to increase access to healthcare in South Africa is through public-private partnerships. These projects have also grown in scope in the sense that we've moved from uh, the Western Cape to the Free State where we've done cataract surgeries in the Free State. We've moved to the Mpumalanga and uh, Limpopo and Kauteng. In Limpopo, for example, we've done urology and uh, cataract procedures and ENT. And we've done the cleft platelet surgeries in Kauteng. We've also done the same. So now we've, we've got a full range of, of uh, programs that address a number of backlogs for the provincial government. We believe there's an opportunity for government to purchase healthcare services from the private sector. We have a huge backlog in South Africa and due to various reasons, the government unfortunately cannot provide access to the full population on their own. So there's a very important role for the private healthcare industry to support government with creating access to good quality healthcare services. <laughs>